What's up, world? How's everyone going? Doing? Going? A weirdo. I <laughs> uh, hope everyone's doing well on a Friday. I wanted to do a little live video. Be, uh, going? <laughs> I know I didn't schedule this. Hey, Michelle, how's it going? Is it uh, hot down there in Richmond like it is up here in D.C.? Anyway, I'm on my sofa today because I'm being lazy. Well, not really. <laughs> not doing much eBay stuff today, but I just got back from the dentist. I got my crown is officially in. Feels really weird. Can you hear me okay, Michelle? Everything sound looking good? Sound sounding good? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's hot. Yeah. Lots of fans going on in the house. Usually I have more fans, but I didn't want the womp, womp, womp sound in here. But, uh, yeah. Hey, there's a hemi. The big gray kitty. The big gray kitty. Yeah. Meowing at me. But, yeah, I just got... Hey, Craig. Yeah, I wanted to do something with Craig this morning, but I had the dentist this morning. I got my crown in. They took the healing cap off and put the crown in and took it out and shaped it and put it back in and took it out again and shaped it some more and put it back in and left it in and filed it some more. <laughs> uh <laughs> Did I say that, Craig? I'm just totally like, woohoo, today. Um, yeah. And I didn't even get numbed or anything. You know, they just literally popped this thing out and popped the crown in. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Justin? How's it going? Hope everyone's doing well. Sales have been absolute crap, but, you know, haven't listed anything. You know. <laughs> but I wanted to talk a little bit about everything i want to talk a little bit about my trip some more about some more stuff i found here some souvenirs i got <laughs> craig had two or three crowns yeah this one was an implant i think yeah we talked about that you had an implant too so yeah it was like a five month process but it's done now that was the last step today and it, this thing the longer you know it, it, they said it's going to feel weird and it does because i have had basically a tooth missing for 20 years or so 22 years basically when i was in my early 20s i didn't have dental insurance poor you know just trying to live pay rent um had a tooth broke and it needed a root canal and a crown but i couldn't afford that back then that was a 1500 bucks even back then you know this was 1997 or so so uh a dentist you know i didn't have much money at all you know uh, uh i found a dentist that pull it for five bucks five dollars so that's what happened got it pulled and there's been a hole right there ever since and uh finally you know dental insurance everything even with dental insurance it costs a lot of money to do this but finally did it and uh, yeah it just feels weird it feels good it fits but it just feels different you know oh <laughs> uh, but anyway some some more things I got on my trip. These are the books I was talking about the other day in the in the haul video. This set of two Shinran, the collected works of Shinran. Yeah, got these at Goodwill in Hawaii in Hilo. So yeah, not bad. And actually, this the one of the hotels we stayed at had a uh, you know basically books that. Uh, other visitors have just left, and you can take them if you want them. You can leave one if you want them. And I, I found this. This is a George R. R. Martin. And this is in Spanish. Yeah, it's in Spanish or Portuguese or something. I think it's a Feast of Crows. So, yeah. I was like, I'll take a free book to resell. <laughs> Wouldn't you take a free book to resell? I don't even know how much it was worth. It was just it was free, so I took it. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing uh not doing eBay stuff today. I had a uh at the dentist thing, but also had right behind me here over on this side, there's a little there's like a half bath powder room, you know, as a toilet and a sink. We don't ever use it because there's other restrooms, you know, I don't want to clean it basically. <laughs> and uh so basically I've converted it into like a storage cat storage closet. There's a severe lack of storage in this house and uh so I pulled the toilet toilet out of it because it was old anyway, you know, turned off the water, everything, took out the toilet and it's been fine. Well, luckily, the day after I 
took my niece to the airport and she was out of here back to Arkansas. Uh, not in the two weeks she was here, but the day after she left, uh, I noticed a huge leak down in our laundry room coming from the ceiling. The laundry room is downstairs below this powder room. And the water line was leaking in this powder room, the, the, the old valves, you know, those old valves they put on those toilets back in the day are horrible, awful for leaking. And uh, yeah, all of a sudden that was leaking, got water everywhere. So I had to tear out a section of drywall down there. I had to um, shut off the water, I had to cut the copper pipe and uh, replaced it with a shark bite fitting. You know, everything's good now. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was probably, I'm luckily I'm a little bit handy. I can do that stuff myself because a plumber would probably charge us a thousand bucks for that stuff. But so today I was down in the laundry room cutting out some, uh, the drywall on the ceiling that got uh, wet, cut it out, and I had to patch it and replace it. So, yeah, it's always something, right? Homeownership. Yay. A uh, few other things we got in Hawaii. We got some macadamia nuts. You always got to get some you know, macadamia nuts. We got like a variety pack. Gave a couple of them to my sister. I like it. This is one of the, I'm a t-shirt fiend. I like t-shirts when I go places. And this one was pretty cool. You know, I, I had a Harley, but uh, when I moved here, but uh, I sold it because it's too dangerous right around here. But I got this uh, Honolulu Harley Davidson shirt. For myself yeah i try to get not black you know i do have some black ones but uh, yeah, this gray one was pretty neat also in hawaii uh patagonia sells their pataloha line which i really like and i got a couple of pataloha shirts pataloha so yeah i really like those this one was from Hawaii as well. This was from the Volcano National Park. Yeah. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Which is pretty cool. Let's go on the sleeve. This is a Hawaii Pacific Parks. National Park since 1933. Awesome. Didn't even know that. Oh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And I got a, uh, this one was really neat. I thought about the San Diego Zoo. It has this, uh, it says world famous San Diego Zoo established 1916. And this is flocked, which means it's like that felty fabric and stuff. Really cool. I really like that. So, yeah, pretty neat. <laughs> hey Mo, yeah, I really, yeah, macadamias. I like, I like, I can't eat cashews anymore because all of a sudden they were kind of making my throat all itchy. But I used to love cashews, but peanuts, almonds, macadamias, pistachios. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, yeah, yum. I may have some of these today. These are like Kona, Co Kona coffee glazed macadamias. Mmm, Kona coffee, that's good stuff. These are just dry, roast, dry roasted. Yeah. Let me see. Randy, welcome, Randy. Randy, I walked into a crazy deal yesterday. About 10,000 new greeting cards in cases for free. Only hits. They're all in Spanish. Whoa. <laughs> wow. I guess you can lot them up in 10s and 20s and just sell them for a few bucks each on eBay or something, right, Randy? I don't know. Uh, glad you got some storage space, though, <laughs> because, I mean, honestly, a deal like that, I would have to pass on it because I would have nowhere to go with it. I'd have to really, like rent a storage unit if it was really profitable, you know, but yeah. Hey, Destiny. No. Did I get your name right? Shamrock Pixie. It's Destiny, right? I'm having a, I got, Craig knows my brain isn't working that great today. So <laughs> now I have my list, my little cheater list. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no doubt, Randy. How do you sell? Like I said, yeah, that's a lot of them up, like in lots of 25, you know, or something. Yeah. Oh, thanks. So how, how's the uh, the gallbladder? Is it coming along? I've been following that on social media. I don't comment much on social media, but I do look, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was following your uh, ordeal. 
I do have the right person, don't I? <laughs> Oh boy! Now I've kind of cornered myself in. I got books, shirts, and nuts, and we also got some bags of Kona coffee that are in the pantry in there. Yeah. So. Oh, cool! Yeah, your spleen, not your gallbladder. Your spleen, the spleen issue. I knew it was something. <laughs> uh, sometimes I'm half brain dead. But, uh, yeah, um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, I was going to tell you a story about my trip. And I think people will enjoy this. And this is 100% true. I'm not a bullshitter. Uh, Destiny says she's getting better slowly, but hopefully we'll get back to 100% in a few months. Yeah. That, Man, that's some serious stuff. We were in, you know, my wife and I flew from D.C. to L.A. We stayed in the night. Stayed the night in L.A. and we got up early the next morning, went to LAX, the airport to go to Honolulu. You know, we get there early because it's LAX. It's always a cluster of traffic, people, security lines, whatever. But uh, as part of one of my credit cards, which I'm going to do a video about, about credit card churning and benefits and all that stuff. But as part of one of my credit cards that I use, we get to use Delta Sky Lounge for free. And we're, you know, we go through security. And if you've been to LAX right through security, there's an elevator right there, right after security that you go up to the second level to the Delta Lounge. And we've been there a few times. So we knew where it was. Um, and we're walking, you know, with our, our bags have already been checked, but we have our carry ons and we're walking to the elevator. And there's a guy standing in front of the elevator on his phone, you know, and I'm not really, I'm, you know, it's early. I'm not really paying attention. And, uh, till I got about, 10 feet from him and I'm not a celebrity guy. I'm not a celebrity chaser. I'm not an autograph hound. I'm not a selfie taker. I'm not a celebrity person, but uh, like as an example to go back before I come forward to this, to who I saw uh, back in the mid nineties, when I was flying home, when I was in the military, I was in LAX and I was flying home and I was in uniform and everything. And I was in LAX and this cluster of paparazzi was coming through. This was pre, security stuff pre tsa stuff so anyone could walk down uh, a terminal all the way to the gate anyone so to see this crowd of paparazzi coming down the terminal and uh, it's uh tom cruise and nicole kidman and i'm like jesus christ you know i'm like whatever i'm in uniform you know i can you know i wouldn't do anything anyway but uh it's just la you know um but i'm about 10 feet from the elevator and i look up and just all of a sudden realize it's Kevin Smith, you know, Silent Bob. And I, that's exactly what I did. I, I, he, I looked at him and I pointed and I go, what's up, Kevin Smith? And he goes, hey, what's up, man? <laughs> uh, I mean, usually, I like I said, celebrities, I don't really care. But I should have got a selfie with him, but I didn't want to bother him. You know, I said, what's up? And he said, what's up? And, and that's it. You know, I got it. We, my wife and I got on the elevator and went up and uh, went to the lounge. And he must, I don't know, he, he was on his phone and I don't know what he was doing or whatever, but uh, about 15 minutes later, he was in the Delta Lounge too. But like I said, I didn't bother him, you know, he was just over there being a person, you know. So, uh, but that was really cool. I don't really geek out over celebrities, but Kevin Smith, man, is like, man, it was awesome. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was cool to see him in person. And I really should have got a selfie, but yeah, it's kind of my own personal rule that I don't like to bother people. So, because that's what celebrities are, they're just people. I just love his work, you know, so it was really cool. Um, well, I imagine Craig and Andre the Giant, man, that dude was huge. Yeah. Never had the chance to see him in person. What's funny is back in the day of the late eighties, I would, uh, I grew up in Jonesboro, Arkansas, a smaller town back then, you know, it's getting bigger now. It's real, still not a big town, but, uh, back then literally it was only like 25,000 people when I grew up there. Um, but they would still have these little small wrestling shows coming in town all the time, like from the, from Memphis, essentially. If you remember Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee and Austin Idol on junkyard dog and all those guys would come through Jonesboro and I've seen them all, but I never saw Andre, Andre the giant. Not once I've seen Randy Savage. And like I said, the King, Jerry Lawler, Austin Idol, Bill Dundee, Jake, the snake, like all those eighties wrestlers. I've seen every one of them, but never Andre the giant. 
think Andre the Giant was too big for <laughs> our little town. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yep, Mo says, yep, just doing their job. Yeah, absolutely. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Yep. Yep. And, I, and, and celebrities, if they're a celebrity, expect to be bothered a little bit. The, the ones that are level-headed, you know. You're also going to have some that are prima donnas that act fool. But uh, you could tell that Kevin Smith is cool with it because, I mean, even if I'd asked him for a photo, I know he'd have been cool with it, but I wasn't going to bother him. You know, I was just like, I didn't even use Sign of the Bob or anything. I literally said, hey, what's up, Kevin Smith? He goes, hey, what's up, man? And that was it. Got on the elevator, didn't say another word to him. <laughs> uh, hey, just Jennifer, we were just talking about California, talking about my time in LAX, meeting Kevin Smith. So, But that was really cool, I thought. You know, like I said, celebrities are what they are, but uh, every once in a while you see one, you're like, hey, that's really cool. You know, just enjoy this stuff for so, such a long time so what are we up to i am uh, this week i'm just doing um or today i'm just doing chores and stuff like i had to tear that drywall out uh and i have all this stuff out of my now it's my storage room it used to be the powder room the one where the water leak happened i had a bunch of stuff stored in there and well all of it's pulled out now because of the water leak i got to put all that back Today's vacuuming day. To, I'm washing our linens, our bed linens and stuff today. So, yeah, just a bunch of uh, chores today after my dentist appointment and my weird feeling crown. <laughs> uh, like I said, it fits perfectly because they 3D scan everything. And then, like I said, even after it's put in, the dentist put it in and took it out three times to fine tune it. But, uh, yeah, it's just different. So, uh, we are... Uh, here, after I get done with this video, actually, I'm going to look for some garage sales to go to this weekend, see if there's any happening. There may or may not be, depending on the heat, weather, who knows. This area is weird with garage sales. I love garage sales, but it's just weird. But uh, we'll definitely go out to the thrift stores on Sunday. Maybe tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I like Sunday because it's their 50% off day, but if you go on Saturday, you beat everybody hoping to get 50% off to the good stuff, maybe. Maybe. Now we find plenty of stuff on the 50% off day. We find it every weekend. We went last weekend. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let me see here. Oh, thanks, Destiny. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. Um, so, uh, stuff on the agenda. Um, I'm sure you saw my what sold video this past week. It, it was pretty, it was raw. It was the way I recorded it, and there's a reason for that. Because on when normally I record that on Wednesday and my wife, when she gets home on Wednesday evening, edits it for me. It's, you know, it takes her an hour, hour and a half, whatever to edit it. Well, Wednesday night, she had a work thing until like 1030 at that night. And you know, I had to go pick her up actually because she takes the train. Well, the train's not running at 1030. So I had to go pick her up in D.C. And uh, so I just uploaded the video raw unedited because I wanted you guys to see this old stuff. I wanted to start putting videos out again, because honestly, my everything's lagging. My watch time, my subscribers, I can't get above 1,900 to save my life for some reason. But just keep on plugging along, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm going to upload that raw. So uh, I'll be doing another What Sold video early next week, probably for release on Tuesday. So Because I'm going to do two What Sold videos a week now. Uh, haul videos. Haul videos just was not getting the views, so I will still do the occasional haul video, and I will do definitely plenty of haul videos for patrons. I had another patron sign up yesterday, and that's Denise. I haven't seen her in here, but uh, Denise signed up as a patron, so we're up to six patrons now, but uh, I'm going to do some exclusive haul videos for patrons just because they just weren't getting the views on YouTube anyway, so is what it is um trying to still get out and do other stuff like uh in creeks and stuff but it's just a time factor you know especially from vacation i wanted to get out and do some metal detecting and scuba diving this summer but it seems like summer's already blowing by and it just started you know so we'll see <laughs> uh 
Uh, Randy says one really cool guy to talk to is Gordon Lightfoot. He will walk up and sit down with you like your uncle or cousin. That's that's pretty awesome. Uh, Craig says find some time next week and come on our morning show if you want. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, wow. Going Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Wow. 9 a.m. Central, that's 10 Eastern. Okay. Okay. That's usually, I mean, what I'll probably do, Craig, is I may pop in for like the first 10, 15 or 20 minutes or so, because usually after 1030 is when I'm trying to get all my eBay packages out and uh, to the mailman and stuff. So, but if you don't mind, I will come on, but it may be for like, from like 10 to 1030 or something, you know, we'll figure it out. Message me on Facebook. Um, but I would love to come on. So, um, yeah, I think that's really it. I just wanted to get on and tell you what I was doing today, which is nothing eBay related. <laughs> I am still going to do my daily thing where I lower my prices and uh, yeah, tweak some things. You should always tweak stuff. I haven't listed, still tweaking stuff though. So yeah, yep, and I. Uh, Craig on your show that you're doing, are you like having the same people or are you just rotating people or just whoever, you know, whoever wants to come on? I don't know. You can message me that stuff. You know, you don't have to talk about it here. But, uh, yeah. And does that, is that going to bump into the big boys? I mean, not that that should matter, but uh, weren't they doing their show from 10 to 11 or whatever? But anyway, it shouldn't really matter. You know, if you want to do something, we're still going to do it. I mean, I'm not on their show anyway, so. Yeah, but you know, I mean between you know the big boys, <laughs> it's because Scott has his own thing, and then the the three musketeers have their own thing going on. So, okay, cool, Craig, that's cool. Randy says my wife works with music people, and we get to spend some great time with some of them. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Really. Greg says, I thought they were just stopping because John was on vacation, like for the week. They're stopped permanently. Yeah, Scott's is like at 8 Central, isn't it? Yeah. He usually goes like 8 to 10 Central. Specific days. Yeah, I thought, the, I thought the Three Musketeers were just on hiatus because John was on vacation. I didn't know when he was going to be back. I was just chatting with John the other day, but I didn't want to pry into his business, you know, so. Yeah. And we're in that fantasy baseball league together. So but anyway, if there's a there's a need to fill it, we'll do it, right, Craig? Extended break. Huh. Oh, well, okay. I messaged Justin the other day, but I haven't heard back from him, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. No communication. Incommunicado. But anyway, yeah, you can, you know, you can Facebook message me, Craig. I, I, I try to always respond, of course, you know, we're all busy. I mean, you know that. So, yeah, just getting things in order, getting things back in the swing of things and uh, doing little tweaks. Yeah. Hey, Paul, how's it going? Down in North Carolina, it's hot as the Dickens down there, isn't it? We had some storms roll through here yesterday, so it just made it humid, really, really humid today. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That was before I started doing YouTube, Michelle. And it gets daunting. You know, live videos is it gets, uh, especially on a regular schedule, gets daunting. You know, I briefly tried to do that at the beginning of the year, but uh, man, it's tough. Oh, really, Cody? Like I said, I haven't, I've been out of the loop, you know, been out, you know, on vacation and no one really talks to me anyway. I talk to Craig quite a bit. Uh, and a couple others, and uh, but yeah, I'm pretty much out of the loop. I talked to John, the Cincinnati picker, quite a bit, but uh, I don't pry into his business, of course, you know. 91 and 91 and humid, probably, isn't it? <laughs> uh, sounds like Arkansas weather when I grew up there. But if you guys have any questions, of course, you know, if there's that void to fill, you can always hit me up. I'm gonna tried to do these impromptu lives every once in a while. And uh, I'll definitely will go on Craig, the Lane Shark Pickers channel when I can. 
But, uh, yeah. I was actually chatting with uh, Andy, the Parahead Picker, earlier today as well about a few things, about a few ideas. Hey, look at that. We got a troll. That nice. Hey, ranches, you know what to do. Yeah, there you go. Way to go, Michelle. But uh, didn't aren't, isn't eBay the Prime Day is coming up with Amazon, right? And eBay has the uh, they actually had something pretty funny. It was like the something about making fun of Amazon crashing on Prime Day. It was it was it was pretty funny. But I didn't see any details much about it. But they had some kind of special thing going on because of Prime Day Amazon. <laughs> Whack a troll, yeah. Thank you, Michelle. Appreciate that. Got to have them every once in a while, right? People, people living in their mama's basement don't have anything else better to do. and not productive members of society. Hey, there was, I didn't even notice Gatsby up here behind me. I got the boxes stacked up from my storage room and he loves sitting on boxes. Uh, yeah, auction. Paul said auction. Uh, we definitely are doing another auction. Um, putting lots together this week and next week. I have, uh, before I left for auction, I talked about the ephemera auction. I have some newspapers and some really cool ephemera stuff. And uh, I'm certain my inaugural invitations are in these bins over here. <laughs> it's because they have to be because there's nowhere else. <laughs> they had to have gotten stuck in those bins. Uh, so ephemera lots, inaugural invitations lots. Um, obviously some mystery boxes. And that's another thing I'm, I'll go ahead and tell you guys here, but I will uh, do some other announcements too. Basically, if you're a patron, even a dollar a month patron, you know, a dollar a month is nothing, but, you know, it all adds up. A dollar, patrons are going to be able to buy mystery boxes whenever they want at a set rate like 125 dollars plus shipping but those boxes will have a guaranteed like 350 to 500 dollars worth retail worth of stuff in them so depending on what kind what part of the country you're in or your time to do stuff they could be a really good deal because i mean it's a good deal for me because i'm making a little bit of money and i'm freeing up space and it's a good deal for someone else that doesn't have the time to source because it gives them stuff to sell and make money off of you can definitely make money off this stuff. Um, Gate City bought our last two mystery boxes at our last auction, and they're full of pretty good stuff. And if he wants to tell people what was in, you know, some of the stuff in those boxes, I'll leave that up to him. I still have the footage of us packing those boxes that I need to put together and release. We just didn't get a chance to uh, before we left on vacation. But basically, if you're a patron, even a dollar a month, we have one dollar, five dollar, and ten dollar a month. Uh, levels you can buy a mystery box anytime you want it 125 dollars plus shipping wherever you live you know so yeah whatever you want we got stuff we got the stuff <laughs> i got too much stuff <laughs> oh gosh got the nuts <laughs> oh my gosh oh that's cool craig yeah you try, I'll try that, Mo. Oh, look at that. Paul let it drop. Yep. And one of the mystery boxes, it was the $100 item. And one of the mystery boxes Paul got was a pair of Biggie Levi's. Vintage Levi's. They're probably from the late 60s, early 70s. Probably late 60s, though. Yep. And they're probably, I would have listed them at like 150 bucks. You know, but uh, yeah, somewhere between that $100, $150 mark is what they would uh, sell for. Along with a bunch of other stuff, right, Paul? <laughs> I crammed those boxes full of crap. Not crap. Stuff. Good stuff. That's basically what I do is I go in but to my unproductive inventory bins and piles and just start stuffing these boxes full of stuff. Thanks, Randy. Thanks for popping in. So, yeah.
So yeah, that's about it, guys. I think that was the really big announcement. I just wanted to talk about what I was doing today, talk about a little bit of stuff we got on vacation, my Kevin Smith story, and talk about uh, uh, selling the the mystery boxes to patrons all the time. If you want one of them, fine. If you want five of them, fine. One twenty-five each plus shipping, and they'll have a a resale value of depending on how you sell from three fifty to five hundred dollars. So yeah, take that for what it is. Go sign up for Patreon. Links in the description. So, yeah. Okay. I think that's about it, guys. And I appreciate you popping in. We got 15 watching. Not bad for an unscheduled stream. So, yeah. Hopefully, a lot of people will see this in a uh, replay, though. And, uh, yeah. Hit us up. Say hi to Gatsby. And Mr. Fluffy Man. He's the model. <laughs> All right, guys. You guys enjoy the rest of your Friday, and we're going to go out sourcing this weekend, try to find some good stuff for those mystery boxes. Peace. Later.